using this cool event marketing approach, which you can totally do in UPEX, by the way, it's, I would charge 4K to do the promotion. And then the recurring monthly would be a 297. Um, and I did this one time and I've talked about this exact model before. If I were to open a new agency, this would be my model, but I'm leaving my retention idea. I'm leaving it open and see what happens when we chase a fire. All right, so orthodontics. We help orthodontics get new brace cases in batches, okay? Not day, one day at a time in batches, okay? You need problem. Tired of intermittent marketing results. They want faster growth, okay? Uh, I worked with an, with an orthodontist that just could not get off the ground. This would have been perfect for him, okay? So here is the promised outcome. We fill your practice with new brace patients uh, using our proven event marketing offers. We will get you 40 plus new patients in 30 days or you don't pay. That would be my irresistible offer. And I know I could do this because I did this. I, I'm a cheapskate uh, chase. And uh, my kid was, when he was getting braces, I was like, dude, I'm not paying for braces. So I went to the orthodontist. I'm like, how many patients uh, would I have to get marketer. you? true marketer. I love it. I've done yeah, this how many life. patients <laughs> would I have to get you for you to get my kid braces for free? And he goes, uh, 10. I'm like, all right, here's what we're going to do. And I came up with this idea, the, what exactly what this is. We ran a, a back-to-school promotion, New Year, New You. We gave away a pair of braces and then 50% off. And then there was some kind of consolation. We made these little like little three-day bundle giveaway packages. You had to attend the live to be eligible to get it. And then we got like 500 opt-ins, okay? So they did the three-day live. Afterwards, we sent <clears throat> a voucher, a $500 uh voucher to anybody who did not win and he got over a hundred patients case value 400 to or i'm sorry four thousand to five thousand bucks boom a single campaign i made that dude over four hundred thousand dollars on one campaign why i didn't go back to do it chase i got a lot going on all right that is but there's your a setup. lot of truth to dig out of that last statement that you just said right and so that was going to be my first point which is this I don't know if you guys have ever had uh, Matt Decino on the show from HL Pro Tools. Not yet. Uh, he's got a great uh, he's got a great phrase he says all the time. He's like, I, I like I prefer to play an easy game. I don't like to play games where I don't know that I have a high probability of winning, and I don't like to make things harder for me than they have to be. So, here's a great example of it. You did an amazing job with that campaign and generated that guy a crap load of money. Now, was his business ready for that many new people? Maybe, maybe not. Most businesses, again, if you go, if you go generate 100 new customers for them, they can't, that's a little too much than they actually wanted. But he told you 10 and he would be happy. Mm -hmm. I know that one feature, like a missed call text back, can generate 10 new customers a month because I know statistically most businesses miss over 50% of their inbound calls every day. So if I can just set somebody up with an automated feature that every time their business misses a call, a text goes back to the number saying, hey, sorry, Mr. Call, how can we help? If I know that I can get back one sale a day and it's a computer that's doing it, well, then I should be able to get at least 10 new customers for him per month. And now I didn't have to go through everything you went through to put together that huge campaign, which don't get me wrong, is amazing. It produced incredible results. I just prefer to play a much easier game. The easy button. Okay, so GMB chat. Um, so you, have to, you have to build off this model. Okay, you, you, we, we got them with the event marketing, but now okay. we got to keep them because we don't want them to do one event. We got to keep them. So what is the retention model? GMB chat, I think, okay, you're going to get passive sales. There we go. There's one. Yeah. I mean, in, in simplistic terms, I like to look at marketing as build a database for somebody and help them reactivate it. Yes. So you just put a bunch of people in their database with that event, right? So yep. I would say, hey, we should probably do this once a quarter. And hey, okay. every month, we need to reactivate these people. So you know, what is it that we are going to be sending them to generate sales when I push this button or when I teach you to push this button yourself? And I so- I didn't tell you to say that, by the way, right? I told you none no, of that. No. You've <laughs> never heard me say this, right? 
This is, I mean, tried and true. This is like exactly. 101, right? Yep. Um, but businesses don't do it. They don't reactivate their databases. And when they do, it's very salesy and very terrible. And so I think if you can help a business do it consistently and do it better. I want to go back to one easy. really, really, really important thing you said. And it has become like, it says so much in marketing that it that people take it for granted. What is the number one job of marketing for this business? What is your job? To build, build the list. Yeah. To build the list. If we are putting a ton of people in the top of the funnel using this cool event marketing approach, which you can totally do in Upex, by the way, you can automate it and make it like, and by the way, if I were doing this, I would charge 4K to do the promotion. One time though, it would be a one-time charge. 4K to do the promotion. And then the recurring monthly would be a 297. Okay. And 297, mm -hmm. I'd install GMB chat. I'd install a database reactivation that would follow a workflow for two months. And it's funny that I, I did not tell him that, you guys. And if you've been, if you're one of our 84 participants, you know, I've said this a couple of times, I would do it quarterly. I would refill the mm -hmm. top. I would, I would fill up the list and then I would harvest and I would rinse and repeat because I can do back to school, uh, like back to school stuff. I can do the exact same promotion for Valentine's day, for Christmas, for any holiday, any reason there is a, Hey, it's a uh, St. Patrick's the, day. The seasons are, lucky? are great. Yeah. The seasons give you the reason, right? Oh, Ooh, I like that. that. That's beautiful. The season Nailed it. Okay. All right, trademark. I was um, going to say, yeah, that's going to be trademark chasism. Now, this point is one that I'd love to talk about because, again, I feel like this is like a 101 that seems so obvious, but yet we as marketers overlook it, which is, again, if I were to go back into the market, I told you I do websites yep. and part of my website would be, what is your first time offer? Every business, the call to action on their site should be a first time offer. And if, if you're a customer already and you see this new thing and you're like, what, the, what about me? Great, you get it too, one time, right? That offer has to live everywhere. So when I go to your Instagram profile and I click it, I get a link tree page with the same offer. And if I go to here, I see it. every business needs there. What is your welcome offer? Yeah. Just by doing that, you will generate them. You will consistently build their database. And now it's just a matter of reactivation. Now your seasonal events are like, a, you know, like throwing gas on that fire and you're doing a huge uh, generation to the database in one go, but there's more effort and that goes into that planning, right? Now you got to run a yeah. webinar, this kind of stuff. But if you just set a business up and help them understand and flesh out what is their first time offer, their welcome offer going to be. And this is the beauty of niching, right? Once you... Yeah niche and you do it once or twice and it works, then you tell them, hey, you should have a welcome offer that is this, right? Yes, exactly. And now all we have to do is reactivate, right? So even if it's once a quarter, what is going to be your spring promotion? What is going to be your summer promotion? What is going to be your fall and your winter? And if you want to pay us a little bit more, we will push the button for you. If you want us to, you know, here's the training, if you want to do it yourself. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if a business is consistently generating new leads and consistently reactivating them. It will be a very healthy business. Marketing doesn't need to be much more complicated than that. Love it.